So what's up everyone, my name is Tom and welcome to Techstream. Time for another video. So today, thank you to the guys at Silicon Power, we're taking a look at their X Power Turbine memory. So I saw a little bit about this stuff down the grapevine online and thought it was a bit of an interesting one. Okay, now Silicon Power, relatively unknown in this country. Um, I've actually only managed to find it for sale here on Amazon UK. It's not cheap here in the UK. It's actually £65 a stick. But anyway, what they did, they sent me over a 3200 MHz CL16 kit of DDR4. Um, now, I was expecting a 16 gig kit. I've actually just got two 8 gig sticks. I believe that is sort of what they offer. As I mentioned, this stuff is 3200 MHz and it is CL16, which out of the box doesn't sound amazing, but we'll get to that a little bit later. So as you can see, these memory sticks, nice blue heat spreaders. You don't really see things like that anymore. Um, blue heat spreaders, black PCB. Okay. Um, one thing that did bug me, this sticker is technically on the wrong side. Every other memory stick I've had, when you put them in the slot, okay, this sticker is on the back. Uh, on these, it's on the front. And warranty void if removed. Can't really move them. So packaging was just some standard blister packs, as you can see, I've had to cut them open. Um, not a massive amount in there, just a little bit of info about Intel's XMP profile. Um, activating your warranty, things like that. But the sticks themselves were actually quite nice. They've just got a basic two piece heat spreader on the top, okay? Nothing too fancy, uh, no RGB lights, no lights at all on this particular model. They do actually do a turbine RGB, which I believe is the same PCB and ICs underneath, just with a fancy heat spreader, a little bit more money. Seen those for about 160 for a uh, 16 gig kit. But the piesta resistance of these, and I believe the reason why they're a little bit more expensive, was under these heat spreaders, it's actually Samsung B die ICs. That is the fabled B die that people search high and low for. Uh, quite hard to get hold of. Very few, very limited selection of sticks ever actually really get produced with B die. It's normally reserved for the absolute cream of the crop. So to find it on a relatively budget brand that you can actually get hold of at a small premium um, was great to see. Um, now I must admit I normally use a program called Typhoon and uh, it basically you stick your memory into your system, turn it on and once you're in Windows you run Typhoon and it reads the specs of your memory. Now weirdly it didn't give me much. It did read the memory, it gave me the speed, it told me that it was Samsung ICs, um, gave me the timings and things like that did not tell me that it was BDI. Now, what I did was I went online, uh, rummaged through as many different photos of these that I could, and found a picture of the bare PCB and Googled the part numbers to discover Samsung BDI ICs. So BDI ICs, as I said before, they are the cream of the crop. They are what overclockers want because on the whole, BDI, as long as you keep it cool, don't let it get too hot, it overclocks well. BDI doesn't like being hot. Um, it will take high voltages and things like that with no issues at all. This stuff, I believe, depending on speed that you buy, is actually up to 1.4 volts. These particular models, they do run 3200 CL16 at 1.35. And I stuck them in my Ryzen system. My Ryzen system can be a little bit temperamental when it comes to memory. Lo and behold, being Samsung B-Dive, plugged it in, 3200 CL16 enabled via XMP with no issues. Did some testing, nice and stable. But I thought, nah, we're not going to leave it at that. It is Samsung B die after all. And what I did manage to do was, first of all, at standard speeds, standard voltages, okay, so I did actually manage to drop these down to being a CL14. CL14 B die is sort of the PS to resistance. You don't get much better than a CL14 Samsung B die. These managed it, not an issue. I then thought, what about putting it back to CL16? Okay, leaving timings and everything as they are, and we'll just see if they go a bit faster. And yeah, they did. On my system, which as I've mentioned is very fussy with RAM, we managed to get 
3600 at CL16 with no problems at all. Now, people get a little bit sort of blinkered when it comes to memory. Now, everybody thinks that speed is all that matters. It's not. Speed on memory is a combination of memory speed and memory timings. You may find you get better benchmarks, better memory benchmarks and things by having a slightly lower speed, but with tighter timings. Lower timings at a lower speed equal a better score. High speed, but very poor timings, bad score. Now, if you go on and have a look at most sort of 36 or 4,000 megahertz sticks, um, I've got some here, and they're actually a CL19. And what I basically found was these at 3600 at CL16 were quite very similar to a 4000 megahertz kit at much lower timings, or much higher timings, sorry. Um, so on the whole, the X power memory, I found, thought it was quite impressive. Like I said, they're just basic looking sticks, nice blue heat spreaders. So if you've got a system that has nice blue theme, they definitely do work. You could obviously pull them out, pull the heat spreaders off, take the stickers off, cut them with a bit of paint, get rid of the blue if you really don't want blue, but are definitely looking for B-Dye memory. Like I said, it is quite hard to get hold of now. A lot of the time, B-Dye memory is basically what came out originally. So you're looking at DDR4 that first came out, and a lot of the time that is quite hard to get hold of. Um, actually having a new kit of Samsung B-Dye come to market is a rare occurrence. Um, so overall, I was actually very, very impressed with this. Okay, the packaging was a bit lacklustre, but hey, it's just memory, so it doesn't really matter. It's got a lifetime warranty, so you buy it, you ever have a problem, lifetime warranty. Off you go, get yourself a new stick. Performance was very much above what I actually expected. I was just expecting, really, some NAF 3200 CL16 sticks. What I've actually got is some sticks that are capable of CL 14 at 3200 or even much faster speeds so overall i'm really really impressed with it there's only two things that let it down it's not cheap here in the uk i'm hoping that we're going to get maybe some distributors that are going to bring it in at closer cost the problem with um companies like silicon power selling through amazon here in the uk is there's a lot of sort of extra costs involved that basically mean that unless you get a distributor that isn't Amazon, these things sort of end up being quite expensive. Um, and the other drawback, there's two other drawbacks really. Blue may not be for you. You may not have a blue theme system. You may not want blue in your system. Obviously you can mod them, but that would A, void your warranty, and B, be a lot of work. The other one is said warranty sticker <laughs> on the wrong side. It's such a minor little thing, but on the whole, really good performance memory. So if you're on the, in the market for something where performance comes above anything else, flashy lights and things, definitely. I am gonna put a link down to the Silicon Power uh, link on Amazon, but I do recommend going and having a hunt around online. Maybe see if you're not in the UK, you might find yourself a distributor that is closer, that isn't Amazon, that will offer you better, because what these effectively happen is if you buy it from Amazon Silicon Power, then ship it all the way from China, and not China, Taiwan, sorry, and eventually it ends up at your door. Um, whereas if you can find yourself a local distributor that's selling this stuff, I've actually reviewed one of their M.2 drives before, um, which at the time was an 80 pound, 256 gig M.2, which was a good chunk cheaper than all of its competitors and offered decent performance. I've pretty much got the same here, okay, not cheap, but I think that's partially down to the reseller channels at the moment, rather than Silicon Power's own pricing. Um, not that readily available via resellers at the moment. Um, hopefully, Silicon Power is starting to make a bit of a name for themselves, and hopefully you're going to see more and more resellers come on with them. I do know Newegg can uh, have, do have the stuff listed as well. So that's about it for today. I've been massively impressed with it. I am going to give it a big thumbs up. Um, so if you want to see more videos of me, as always, don't forget to click the little subscribe button, click the notification bell, and if you have any questions or comments, leave it down below. I always take the time to answer any questions. I think that's about it for today, guys. 
I am actually going to be doing some builds where you're going to see a lot more of this because I quite like it and blue's kind of my theme. So yeah, these were actually perfect for me. Um, so yeah, I am going to do a load more videos. You will see these. I may even, once we get the new, hopefully get the new Ryzen processors soon, we might look at doing some overclocking guides on memory. Um, these are going to be a prime candidate for it. So we will possibly look at some memory overclocking guides, things like that. Um, if you do have any suggestions of what you'd like to see, do let me know down below. On that note, guys, bye for now.